Hey guys, it's Matt here with Acoustic Selection. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. With this video, I want to talk to you about four spiritual disciplines that all Christians should practice daily. So we're going to talk about four things that we, as Christians, we, each of us should practice each and every day. And these four things all deal with God's Word. A lot of people know John 3.16. It says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only, be only begotten Son, whosoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, shall have everlasting life. A lot of people don't know another uh, 3.16, 2 Timothy 3.16. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The number one way, number one way to grow spiritually in your walk with God is this Bible. This is such a gift that we take so for granted that if we realize the importance of this, and this is the primary way God speaks to us. Our whole lives can change. So the four disciplines I want us each to practice daily are reading God's Word, studying God's Word, memorizing God's Word, and meditating God's Word. So reading, studying, memorizing, and meditating. First of all, reading. Do you have a time each day that you sit down and read God's Word? We get so distracted and so many things on our plate, but do you have a set time that you can say that you sit down, whether it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, that you sit down and almost like browsing the internet, do you just read God's Word? Again, this is the primary way God speaks to us. So if we want our Creator and the ruler of, of heaven and earth to reign in our life, we need Him to speak to us, and the primary way is through His Word. So develop a discipline of reading God's Word daily. And the second thing is studying. Do you have a study plan that you are doing? An intentional, nothing happens in life just by chance, just by coincidence. The Bible says all good things work for the good of those who love the Lord. If we're going to grow spiritually and, and, and God's going to work through our life, it's going to have to be intentional. We have to say, God, I'm going to seek you. The Bible says draw nine to God, he will draw nine to thee. So I'm going to seek you, God. I'm going to dig into your word. I'm going to read it. I'm going to study it. Do you have a plan that you are studying God's word? Studying and saying, who's the author writing to? What's the setting? Um, uh, what was he writing about? What happened beforehand? What happened after? Uh, what, what, what's the takeaway from this? How am I to apply this to my own life? Um, where, where are other parts of the scripture that's referencing the same verses? These are all things you do studying that you wouldn't necessarily do reading. Reading is more like browsing the internet. You kind of go through and you're just kind of reading, just taking in the content. And there is value in reading. But the next level is studying. We have to study God's Word. Dig deep like a miner mining for gold. You're, you're just looking for every detail you can to really soak in God's Word. So you have reading and studying. The second one is memorization. My pastor says often, we need to, when we are cut, bleed God's Word. Can you say you do that today? When you are cut, do you bleed God's Word? That's vital for us as Christians. We need to have such, so many scripture in our Rolodex, so to speak, that when things happen in life, when circumstances, when temptation, when we're faced with certain decisions, we are going through God's Word and through scripture to decide what God wants us to do. Memorizing scripture um, is so vital for, for our Christian walk. So you might say, how can I memorize scripture? One of the best ways that I do is put a scripture, um, you can go to versesofthedaycom or there's different websites that have, um, I usually use the one on blackaby.net, that's the daily devotional I do, blackaby, B-L-A-C-K-A-B-Y.net, blackaby.net. Uh, they have a scripture with a little daily devotional I do first thing when I get up in the mornings. But a lot of times I'll do it right on the back of a business card or on a post-it note and just kind of put it on my desk or somewhere that I can just constantly see throughout the day. And just by sheer quantity of looking at that over time, it's just going to stick in your brain. Um, some of us have better memories than others. I, I feel like I do not have the best memory. So I have to constantly, constantly expose my, um, myself to things in order for it to really stick with me. So, and come up with your own way. Don't, you don't have to do what I say or someone else says. If you have a way that you can, maybe a lot of people just like to write things out. That's what my wife does. She likes to just write things over and over in order to memorize it. Um, so we have reading the Bible. We have studying the Bible. We have memorizing. 
And the fourth and final discipline is meditating. Meditating is kind of hard to explain because a lot of people take meditation as you're kind of sitting there humming and just trying to get in touch with the universe or something crazy. But, but meditating is having a time of uninterrupted, complete silence where we can really, really focus on what we've read, what we've studied, what we've memorized, and say, God, what, what are you trying to tell me per, uh, specifically with what I've read and studied and memorized? What, what areas am I, am I failing to turn over to you? What areas am I trusting my own, my own um, desires, my own uh, nature in? Instead of leaning on you and casting my cares upon, upon you, like the Bible says. Meditation is, 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 I would almost say, the hardest because it makes us stop our life and just be silent. Silence is weird, isn't it? It's very weird. We're so used to the fast-paced life and everything. A lot of times I'll find myself texting on an iPhone, got an iPad, got the uh, mute radio playing, got the TV on. I have to stop and say, God, what am I doing? My mind is so cluttered. This silence and just meditation on God's Word is so vital to Christians in this day and time because that's when God speaks to us and reveals things that He sees we need work on. Reveals areas that we're struggling with, but we know we have that tension. God, you, you're speaking to me. You're telling me what I need to do. It's just a matter of me listening. So develop those four, four spiritual disciplines. And like I said, and I, I tell myself this and tell others, it has to be intentional. If you think you're just going to wake up and this naturally happen, it will not happen. Each day something will come up in your schedule. Uh, somebody else can plan something for you. It will not happen naturally. You have to say intentionally starting today I'm going to read I'm going to study I'm going to memorize and I'm going to meditate in God's Word hope this helps you guys uh, like I've said in other videos heard a preacher say speak from your weaknesses and you'll never run out of material so all these things that I talk about my channel it's things that I want to work on and it's the things that I desire in my own spiritual walk so I, I feel like if I want to do these things and I practice these things that's why I tell others because a lot of times we all go through the same struggles in different situations. So I tell you a lot of things out of my weaknesses in order to help us get, grow together. Love you guys. Have a great day and God bless you.